Protesters are gathering in McKeesport this afternoon. They're demanding more protections for the transgender community and transparency from investigators about the death of a trans woman in McKeesport last month. Royce Jones is live at that demonstration with more. Royce. Hey, Ken, yeah, this demonstration is just now getting underway. People are starting to file into the intersection of Gibson Way and Fifth Avenue here in McKeesport. It's right behind the family dollar here. Uh, we are, there's one name, Ken, that we are hearing from people here who are attending this demonstration, and that is Aliyah Johnson. And people want to know what happened to her. We spoke to people who knew and loved her earlier today. Here's their story. I feel as though it's my duty and responsibility to make sure that her death was investigated and, and we can lay rest to all speculation. People want to know what happened to Aliyah Johnson, a 32-year-old black trans woman who was found dead outside her McKeesport apartment last month. She was very spiritual. She was talented. Uh, she was just a creative soul. She could do hair. She could dance. She could sing. According to the Allegheny County Medical Examiner, Johnson died on May 26th from blunt force impact to the head and neck. Her death was ruled a suicide, but people who knew and loved her say they're not so sure Alaya took her own life, saying she spent some of her final days living in fear. This lady received death threats. This lady was trying to get out of the city. Even if she would have done something like that, there would have been a note. There would have been, you know, there would have been something there. There was nothing there. Allegheny County police are investigating. They say right now there's no indication of foul play, but they are still combing through video in connection with the investigation. And this is the reason why we're going and we're protesting. We need justice for our sister. Enough is enough. Back live now, friends of Aliyah also tell me for years the door to her apartment was broken as uh, was one of her windows, adding to their suspicions that something bad may have happened to her. County officials told me over the phone they will release any new information when it becomes available. And again, no evidence of foul play so far. Ken, this demonstration is just getting started. We will be following it and we'll bring you details as they come in. Ken. Bryce Jones in McKeesport, thanks.